Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Avamance, in my, well, this one isn't really part of a series because you guys actually asked for it. Out in the comments, the subscribers and the viewers have all said, Avo, we'd really like you to do an episode that tells us all about what blocks emit light. And I thought, uh, I reckon I can have a crack at that, so let's go. Now, I have created this rather dull looking erection that's Basically, it's got no windows, it's got one door, it isn't much to look at, but there's a reason for that. This is my dark room. I've created a room where for art it's dark, and the whole reason for it being dark is because I thought, well, yeah, we could just list out all of the items that emit light and how much light they emit, but in reality, is that not just a little bit dull? So, in my inimitable style, we're going to test it. We may not test every single block, but we're going to test a good number of them just to show that we're not talking rubbish and that the wikis and the various other bits of information that are online are in fact correct. So let's bring up my little bar and we're going to start at the bottom. And what's going to happen, I'm going to put a block here on this green square and then we're going to look at the signs on the wall and I'm going to move along this middle here in this direction and when I'm on a block that's directly opposite a number there I'm going to look at my F3 screen and if it says that my block light level is uh, 1 then that is the light level that the block emits if that makes sense so for example I'm going to put down that there now if I press F3 I can see that the block is one. I'm sort of stood on top of that block. It's actually hard because it takes up some space. But if I go here, it's naught. So we know it's less than two, but we know it's one. So the brewing stand, we can confirm, emits a light level of one. If I get rid of that, what about a brown mushroom? Brown mushroom, again, look, block one, block naught. So a brown mushroom emits a light level of one. This one's an interesting one, dragon egg. Did you know, I can't actually do it because it takes up the whole block. Did you know that the dragon egg emits a light level of one? I can't do it. it I need to physically be stood on the block. Uh, and that means that where my feet are, it's actually zero. But that emits a light level of one. I'm going to make it teleport away now. Well, or at least destroy it. <laughs> Next one, end portal frame. And again, this emits a light level of one. You can see it goes to one there because it's not a whole block. So we're sort of within the block where we're standing. And come in here, that is naught. So that is a light level of one. Now, moving up, magma block. Boom. Now, magma block, because this is molten rock, let's face it, it's going to have a much higher value. And so if we go onto that block, that block's one that block is zero so we want to go to one look at the sign three and that's actually correct the magma block only emits a light level of three can you believe it i'm genuinely surprised next up is the ender chest you can see the second i put it down the room started to light up so if we start walking down our frame here three two one that makes it naught so we're stood on this one look up seven light level of seven Redstone torch is next. Let's pop a redstone torch on there. If I start to move down, we're going one, two, that's a zero, that's a one, that's the one there. Light level, again, light level of seven for the redstone torch, which is a, an act of obviously redstone torch. It emits no light if it's part of a knot gate and it hasn't got any light coming out of it. Next up, this one's interesting, redstone ore. Let's just wander over the redstone ore and see if we can get to the block before it runs out. One, two, three, four, five. Nope, too far. Eight, there we go, and it is indeed eight. And when that turns off, that would go back to zero, obviously, because it's only active when you've given it a bit of a knock or walked over it or something like that. Next up, I just need to replace my green block. There we go. So next up, we're going for a furnace. So I'm just going to pop a furnace down in there. Obviously, I need to put some something that would burn into the furnace. So that then lights up quite significantly, in fact. So let's wander down. Where have we got here for the... That's a zero. That's a one. Thirteen. Well, blow me, that is actually correct. And then pop that out. So similarly to the furnace, we have the blast furnace. So let's pop in 
Again, some fuel into the blast furnace and some stuff there. Get rid of that and we run doing exactly the same thing. Four, three, two, one. That's a zero. That is a one. 13 again. Brilliant. Well, as it happens, that is exactly what I was expecting it to be. And then we've got the smoker as well. Smoker, again, just another type of furnace. Put some food in there. Put some fuel in there. Get out of there. And if I just do another runner, running down this way, five, four, three, two, one. 13 again. That was what we hoped it would be. Because if it hadn't have been 13, I'd have been terribly upset. Because when I did my smoker video, I said it was 13. And it has to be. End rod. Coming along this way, what is it? Five, four, three, two, one, zero, one, fourteen. The end rod has got one more glowiness than an active furnace or other furnace like item. Glowstone's up next. Obviously, very glowy. It's called glowstone. So if we run along to find out where this fella sits, we've got two, one, unsurprisingly, fifteen. We're in the final straight for our terrestrially based light emitting blocks. Yeah, a little bit of clue there where we're going afterwards. There we go. Torch. Let's run down. It's a good exercise, isn't it? One down our corridor. There we go. It's one. Torch is indeed 14. Now, beacon. This is an interesting one because you don't have to have a pyramid for the beacon to emit light. And if you run along here, you can see the beacon has got 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 15. Absolutely. Bang campfire did you hear that noise that's brilliant like there's the beacon listen to the noise i love that that's so funny right campfire it's a fire it's probably gonna have quite a lot of light isn't it so let's come along 15 that's a winner okay so now fire actual actual fire be aware here you're in a wooden box avamance fire I hope it doesn't catch things on fire one 15 Quick, now put the fire out before it catches everything on fire. Whoa, thank goodness for that. Right, Jacko Lantern. So interestingly, a pumpkin encasing a torch, what has that got its value of? One, 15. So a torch without anything around it is 14, but a pumpkin around a torch is 15. You work that out, gamers. I have absolutely no idea how they've managed to work that one. Right. I'm going to skip that one because I'm going to do that one last. Then we've got a lantern. Let's run along this way. What does the lantern say? 15. A lantern is indeed 15. Then we've got a redstone lamp, but it's no good unless we activate said redstone lamp. So let's just pop that there like that. I'm terrible with inventory. Pop that there. Redstone lamp on. Runny, runny, run. One. 15 it is indeed 15 pop that off get rid of the redstone torch we've got the sea lantern running along this way backwards and forwards it's like a shuttle run i'm waiting for the bleep test it is a 15 and finally as i said lava now that lava is a block below so we have to add one onto whatever result we get here because it's not on the block in line with this row so i've got to do it when it first says zero which is that block so, and again it's 15 lava does indeed emit a light level of 15. before we finish up i want to look at something that looks like it should give off a light signal because it's redstone dust when it's activated so i'm going to do i'm going to activate this redstone dust so i'm going to do my very best to block off any light that will come from that torch itself like that so that's really only light coming from the redstone dust itself coming here and if we look here the block level of light is zero that one is what's coming from the uh, torch so it's got a block level of zero if i then put a redstone repeater now you've got two little redstone torches on top of that repeater surely that will give off the same light as a redstone torch but no it gives off no light whatsoever and a comparator again two redstone torches absolutely no light given off at all the same is true for powered rails nothing happening now i do have a few honorable mentions that i have to mention i can't show you here because we're in java but in other versions you have other blocks that will emit light i'm sorry i've got pig spawner all over the place because i've got a pig spawner 
A spawner, a monster spawner, will emit a light level of three in bedrock, but not in Java. Yeah, I know, Mr. Piggy, you're right. We've got blue ice. Blue ice emits a light level of four in education edition, which I think is quite interesting. An enchanting table emits a light level of 12 in bedrock. That's a relatively new thing. Now, that's obsidian. I'm not talking about obsidian. I'm talking about glowing obsidian, which uh, was in bedrock, but is no longer obtainable in bedrock. That emits a light level of 12. I've got a torch to represent the coloured torch of Education Edition. That will emit a light level of 14. And then I've got an empty cauldron. In Bedrock, you can fill a cauldron with lava. And as a result of that cauldron being filled with lava, it will emit a light level of 15. But only in Bedrock and PS4. Now, I have, with Movie Magic, filled this entire thing with water. And I can breathe water because I'm a fish. So if I put a sea pickle, just one, down on that block, you can see we gain a little bit of light. Doing exactly the same thing as we did before, we can walk, albeit slightly more slowly, to find where it says one, look up, and six is the value. A single sea pickle will light up for a value of six. If we're to put a second sea pickle in there, however, we can see that we're getting a better value. I'm bobbing along there. Hang on, that's the right one. Ten. We have a value of 10 for two sea pickles. If I put another third sea pickle on, bang, it lights it up even further. So I could swim, I suppose, but then I'd lose all control. Two, one, zero, one. Okay, 12. And that is correct. Three sea pickles has a value of 12. So if I come along here, oh, I'm now swimming. I didn't mean to. Pop that on there. Come along. Slowly but surely, slowly but surely, slowly but surely. And there we go. A 15, value of 15 for four C pickles. But there is one other thing we've not yet tested. And that block is the conduit. So as you see, we've got here a conduit. It is not a working conduit because this block is underneath it, not giving it the necessary space around it. But if we pull up F3 and stand on the block that the conduit's on, effectively sharing that block, we will see that the light level coming from that conduit is 15. It actually gives out a light level 15 as a conduit, even when it is not actually activated. If we then pop that block out, that activates the conduit. And if I get myself, my feet that is, on the block of the conduit you can see oh can you i can't quite get in it because now the hit blocks of an open conduit is just not allowing me to do what i need to do so how about if i do that and i land on it there there we go my feet are on it and it's got a light level of 15 again so you can actually see quite well when you're close to a conduit because of the light because of the powers that the conduit gives you seeing underwater is actually not a challenge anyway so as you can see, lots of light emitting blocks in the game, some really obvious, some may be a little less obvious. I've made myself a little beach hut shelter here out of lighty stuff because I'm afraid of the dark and I don't want anything to eat my face. Hopefully all this light will keep it away. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying it and I will keep on making them. And also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.